This is Abdul Saad, clinical psychologist at Vital Mind Psychology here in Sydney, Australia. And today I'm going to be uh, discussing the topic of the mineral zinc. Zinc, the mental health mineral. Uh, thank you very much for continuing to watch the videos. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, thank you to the subscribers and for all of those who engage with the uh, content and, uh, and who comment. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing uh, the mineral zinc. And I've uh, termed zinc the mental health mineral for a number of reasons. Chief amongst them is that zinc is being increasingly recognized in the uh, published uh, research as having incredibly profound effects upon mental health, upon brain function, upon uh, nervous system function. And zinc deficiencies are amongst one of the most common uh, micronutrient deficiencies that are being observed in mental health populations. Um, some researchers, uh, such as um, William Walsh, William J. Walsh, PhD, uh, have observed that zinc deficiency is ubiquitous amongst mental health populations, whether you look at anxiety, depression, uh, psychosis. Uh, this is a very important mineral uh, to help keep our brain in uh, top shape and to help uh, keep our mental health on a stable footing. So in this video I'm going to be talking about zinc, the mineral, uh, uh, the, the various roles it plays in the body, especially as it relates to mental health. So let's, uh, let's get started. So as you know, as we all know, I think zinc is a, uh, is a mineral in the body. And with regard to uh, mental health, zinc plays a major role in our central nervous system. Uh, in regulating brain, brain function. Uh, zinc uh, helps to activate the prefrontal cortex, the rational part of the brain. Um, so it's, it allows us to uh, make uh, decisions, to engage in what's called higher order or executive level thinking. And zinc is very, plays a very important role in moderating the fight flight response, or in more technical terms, the HPA axis, the hypothalamic, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Uh, zinc actually plays a major role in regulating this um, uh, brain um, adrenal um, axis which regulates our stress response and if we're low on zinc uh, that stress response can become highly dis dysregulated. Um, one of the areas of uh, the, the body that are most rich in zinc uh, is an area of the brain called the hippocampus. And the hippocampus has uh, a lot of zinc-rich neurons, brain cells, and the hippocampus is involved in um, memory. It's involved in regulating the stress response. And uh, numerous studies have shown that um, people with major depressive disorder have impaired hippocampal function. Um, and there are alterations to both the function and structure of the hippocampus in depression. And zinc plays an integral role in regulating hippocampal function. Zinc is an antidepressant, or to be more precise, zinc exerts profound antidepressant effects. And this has been demonstrated in numerous animal studies um, and also in a number of randomized controlled trials in humans that zinc as a standalone supplement, as well as in conjunction with antidepressants, exerts antidepressant effects. And if, uh, when it's been combined with antidepressants, zinc has been shown to increase the uh, efficacy of the antidepressant. Basically, it increases the, the, uh, the, the chance that the antidepressant will help, will work. In terms of the nervous system and mental health, zinc is a major uh, sedative mineral. It has a sedative effect. And what we find as people become more zinc deficient, especially for example, young children, uh, we see an increase in hyperactive behavior. We see an increase in irritability in adults, sort of the scatterbrain uh, syndrome. Zinc has a calming, regulating effect upon the nervous system. It truly is the mental health mineral. Um, Zinc is critically important for proper gut function. Um, without enough zinc, we can't properly maintain the lining of our gut. We can't properly digest food. And anyone who knows anything about um, the latest re research on mental health and 
the physical functioning understands that there is an intimate connection between the gut and the brain, uh, often called the gut-brain axis, and uh, impaired gut functioning um, is implicated in depression and in anxiety. So zinc helps regulate normal gut function and uh, the, the lining of our, uh, of our gut. Um, zinc is also involved in regulating our blood sugars. Um, so we need zinc to produce adequate amounts of insulin and to regulate the insulin response. And we know that if insulin becomes dysregulated, uh, that can also have negative mental health effects because the brain uh, as a very glucose hungry, hungry organ needs a reliable source of glucose uh, to fuel uh, its um, billions upon billions of brain cells. In fact, the brain uses up about 20 to 25 percent of all the calories we eat. Uh, it's, a, it's a powerhouse of energy. It is the most metabolically active organ of the body. The other thing that's important with zinc deficiency as it relates to mental health is um, and, and zinc the mineral is that zinc um, <clears throat> is protective against heavy metal accumulation and heavy, heavy metal toxicity such as arsenic, uh, cadmium, lead and these heavy metals have been well studied in the literature as having a profoundly disrupting effect upon central nervous system function especially in children who in their formative years have very uh, a much more fragile brains and bodies compared to adults. Um, so if we look at the clinical manifestations of zinc deficiency, um, zinc deficiency can often produce quite subtle symptoms. Um, the person will feel a sense of malaise. Um, uh, in, in, uh, th there's often a disruption to uh, this person's sense of taste and smell and to the regulation of their appetite because zinc is intimately involved in all these functions. So uh, there could be a reduced appetite, there could be an inability to properly digest foods, especially proteins. Uh, and actually uh, appetite disturbance is actually one of the symptoms of major depression. And what we see uh, clinically when zinc is used in, uh, in depression is that people do report an improvement in appetite and an improvement in vitality. Um, so I would encourage you to look into and study uh, zinc the mineral. Uh, it is an amazing mineral. Uh, I think that we can say with confidence that zinc deficiency is quite widespread uh, in the population. Uh, I think it's quite widespread, especially amongst children. And um, children with growing brains especially need adequate sources of zinc. And the, the, the richest sources of zinc uh, tend to be from the animal proteins. Uh, meat is very rich in zinc. Um, the problem with the vegetarian um, sources is that the zinc, although it is available, is very tightly bound uh, within the, um, the fiber, within the vegetarian or vegetable protein, the phytic acid. And uh, this was actually how zinc deficiency was actually first discovered in human beings back in the 1960s, where uh, researchers studied a group of um, uh, uh, peasant farmers in Egypt who subsided on a vegetarian diet, poor community, um, didn't have a lot of access to meat and, and milk products. And they were experiencing um, dwarfism in their children and, and, and poor uh, sexual development. The kids were not becoming pubescent. And zinc was the culprit. As you increase the zinc in the diet, brain development comes online, hormonal development comes online. It's important to add that in our modern stressful life, um, our bodies, just like we said with magnesium, can very easily become depleted in zinc. We're sweating it out, we're urinating it out, it comes out in um, various forms from the body. And if we already have a zinc deficit because we're not ingesting it in our diet or we're not properly absorbing the zinc rich foods, uh, this can lead to a, a mental health disaster as the zinc deficiency accumulates. Zinc is a bit tricky to test, um, sort of similar to magnesium. Um, serum and plasma levels can be of some value, although there's a lot of variation with blood testing. It can depend on you know, what you've eaten the night before, how stressful you are. So blood levels can vary. Um, clinical symptoms of zinc deficiency are uh, often quite a good guide to try and gauge your level of zinc need. 
and if you're vegan or vegetarian there's definitely uh, usually an increased need for uh, zinc supplementation or to start to incorporate more bioavailable zinc rich foods in the diet in terms of zinc dosing supplement wise if we go by the the rda set by uh, governments um, it's usually about 10 to 15 milligrams um, for children adolescents and anywhere from 15 to 25 milligrams in adults and that um, is around that upper range in pregnant women as well they have an increased need for zinc it's important to understand that with zinc supplementation too much of a good thing um, it, it can be too much of a good thing so if you're supplementing with large doses 40 50 milligrams a day or more uh, you can actually induce a, a copper deficiency or an imbalance in your zinc to copper because zinc to copper need to be balanced in the body uh, what happens with a lot of zinc uh, deficient people is they actually begin to have um, an overload of copper that's a whole other video about copper overload copper toxicity but also taking too much zinc indiscriminately can also not be helpful so the studies that have used zinc for depression have usually used a dose of 20 to 25 milligrams and those trials have gone on from 8 to 12 weeks and they have demonstrated um, quite solid antidepressant effects of zinc supplementation at that uh, reasonable dose of about 20 to 25 milligrams a day and looking around at health food stores and pharmacies this tends to be the typical dose in most zinc uh, formulations um, good forms of zinc highly absorbable forms include zinc picolinate zinc citrate zinc gluconate um, zinc chelate opti zinc uh, less uh, absorbed forms are, are zinc oxide it tends to be um, much more uh, much less absorbed so I hope uh, in this video I've given you some food for thought about zinc, the mental health mineral. Zinc, the mineral that activates the rational cortex, the prefrontal cortex, the rational part of the brain. Uh, zinc that allows us to adaptively deal with stress. Um, and uh, I hope that this has uh, will lead you on to some more research looking into uh, zinc, its effects on mental health. Um, I will put uh, some links to some of the published literature. It's always important that when, we, when we're discussing these things about health, that we uh, are open about the evidence base. And uh, I think I'll leave it there for now. I will catch you soon with a, a new video, God willing. Take care. Bye-bye.